yes i have been to israel and i've been to mecca and i've been to the vatican and i've been to jordan and i've been to a whole bunch of places all over the middle east so but to answer your question sir Anyone could take Bible verses and criticize them. It was written in ancient times. Have you ever been to the Middle East and seen how precise it is? Well, let's explore, let's explore that for just a moment. So the Bible was written in ancient times, meaning that it was not written at a time frame where you can very actually authenticate whether or not these things happened or did not happen. But based on other and outside historical accounts, we can see that many things in the Bible are not true that they are falsified, that they don't fit historical timelines. There is no pottery, there is no coins, there is nothing but literature as far as your belief of what the Bible says. And we know that people in ancient times did not understand the same level of science that we understand today. So when they saw a storm roll in, they called that storm Yahweh, the Canaanite God, Yahweh, the storm deity. When the volcano erupted, they called that a different God. They called that a mountain God. When they when, when the lightning came down, they said, oh, if you're Norse, that's Thor. If you're Ifa, then that's Shango. So because they didn't understand certain natural occurrences, we know that people who wrote things in ancient times just made up stories and myths in order to explain why these natural occurrences were going on. But we also know that as people today write propaganda for their government or their their tribe, their nation, that people back then also wrote propaganda for their nation, their tribe, their empire, and so on and so forth. Now, as far as the precision of the Bible, can I go to Israel and find Jerusalem? Yes, it's a city. I can. Can I go to and find Bethlehem, the Dead Sea, the Red Sea, all of those places? Yes, I can. But in the same way, I can read Homer's Iliad and Odyssey and go and find the city of Troy, the city of Sparta. I can read the tale of two cities and find, you know, Paris and other places, finding a location. Matter of fact, I can read the Spider-Man comic books and go find New York, the Bronx, Harlem and all those other places as well. So just because I can find places doesn't validate that your Bible is correct, because here's the other part about it. I can go and find the city of Troy and we know where the city of Troy was. Does that mean that Achilles exists? And that he is a demigod. It does not. I can find the city of Cairo. But does that mean that Osiris and Asara As set in Hebrew actually exist there? Does that mean that they had a boat that flew in the sky? So just because I can find the Dead Sea does not necessarily mean you can find a pillar of salt. Then that's Lot's wife. I can find uh, the Red Sea. And it was not split. It doesn't mean that it was split. Please don't give me the bullshit about that they found chairs. That's been debunked so many times. And I'm so sick of doing multiple videos repeatedly expressing expressing how why it had is, is is a farce and that they have never found those. And plus the translation is actually the sea of reeds. Please, somebody in the comment, don't don't come with that part. I'm tired of reiterating that over and over again. But anyway, adding historical points. And historical people does not make your book valid. You can put Pontius Pilate in the book because he can be validated through coins, through the annals of Rome and all that kind of thing. But that doesn't mean that he crucified Jesus. It does not. So you don't have proof of that. You have your faith. And if you can have your faith, that's believing something without the necessary need of facts. But don't criticize us who requires facts from your book in order for us to accept it. We have that right. But remember always, you have the right also to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibration, my dad.